Uh, hello, fellow hominid. Thank you for uh, tuning in to watch this this little video. Uh, this is a recording of my short story, Bertha, which was originally published in Ellipsis Zine and was performed here at a spoken word event at The Larder in Preston. My thanks to uh, Richie and Rickin for putting on the event and inviting me along. It was a lot of fun. Um, you'll see here that the recording uh, it goes a little bit in and out of focus, especially at the beginning. Uh, that was probably my fault. I don't know. I mean, who cares? You're just here to listen to the story. I'm not flipping Greta Gerwig. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the weird little tale. And if you want to read the text of it, just search for uh, Bertha Ellipsis Scene and my name and you'll find it. Um, thank you very much. Enjoy. Bertha, 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 that's her name, Bertha, Bertha the cow, that's the name you would give to her, that or, or Bessie, or, or Bella, or Babs, it's one of the B names, you know, the jolly good fun ones, but we'll go with Bertha, 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 that's her name, Bertha the cow, that suits her best, and if you watch, watch carefully, and listen, listen really carefully, Bertha, Bertha the cow, is going to tell you where your missing child has gone. Come on, Bertha, you might say. We know what you like, those noisy shouts you try and do to try and will something into happening. The yays and the uh, and the come on, but don't worry. Bertha's got it. Bertha the cow. She's an expert. She knows what she's doing. And even though this will kill her, well, that's just part of the process. That's just part of it. You understand the process, this divining. Even though this will be her last action on earth, she knows exactly what she's doing. You're in safe hands. So let's gather and watch as she noses the lantern, feeling the toughened paper and the orange ink. That's the hallucinogen, the orange ink. That's the key ingredient. Testing the twisted metal with a quick slurp of her tongue, seeing those first few flashes of insight, just shapes and colours at the moment, nothing tangible, but at least she knows it's working, knows she'll be able to help, knows she'll reach that asphyxiation point and see in death blinded eyes that very location where your missing child currently is. And then she'll tell us, and we'll moo it, and hopefully you'll translate, and then everything will be super lovely again. She eats the message first, Bertha, Bertha the cow. She wraps it with her tongue, whips it straight down her gullet. Come home, little Susie. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, that triple kiss really got to her, to Bertha. She's, she's quite sentimental, really. Well, we all are. We, we milkers. We, we know what it's like to lose kids. It happens to us all the time, and it's never not sad. She's ready now, Bertha. She's determined, and we press in close as she takes her first quick nibble of the, of the lantern paper. Come on, Bertha. We moo it. Just cautious rumble moves and anxious nose huffs, but it helps her. It emboldens her, and she hooks in a big wet clump of the stuff. And we flinch as she gives out a quick growl and her eyes bulge, lashes flickering and there's a squeak as she munches down on the metal and it slips across her teeth. We tighten our circle, bow our heads, one of us nudges the flaccid thing to help and Bertha lurches forward and takes in the stub of wax, the black wick, the core of it all, the heat of it, the heart of it. And she thrashes her head to help with the chewing, to fight the taste and then swallows and... Bertha, come on, Bertha! It sticks. Yes, it... There, she tries to breathe, but wire around her gullet a clog of waxed paper, and Bertha! We snort, all of us, as one, a mighty haroof, because she can't forget her purpose. Little Susie, kiss, kiss, kiss. Come home, little Susie. Kiss. She collapses, a wump of flesh on dirt, legs hoisted like waving human arms, like the arms you use to send the lantern, a high up salute, a hope, kiss. She screams it, her last breath pulsing inside her chest, sent back with a message, warmed up to the head, and then kiss. The bloodness of her eyes seeing the truth, the bloodness of her eyes seeing it, seeing truth. We twitch ears and Bertha, Bertha, she sends it to us. In the cow way, the last shudders of her body, she sends it to us, the truth. We toss her away. Bertha isn't Bertha anymore. That part of her is gone now. We chew the cud spread out. We've got it now, the truth. 
It's, it's there in our brain, it's clotted. So, if you come to the road corners of Undernook Farm, where the hazelnut tree leans over the buckled fence, where the raven's nest, where owl rests, just past the trough, with the sheep folk behind you and the houses at sunrise side. Come there any time you like and we'll tell you where you've put little Susie. Just come and ask. Wave your hand at us and we'll come over. We'll huff and moo it to you. We want to help. You send us the lanterns and we give this back. It's what Bertha would have wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Based on a true story I read, um, sort of. It was based on a story about a farmer who complained when a cow choked to death on a Chinese lantern. There you go. Right. Um, so let's move on to the.